What is up everybody and welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another video. Uh, hope the new year treated you guys all great. But today we are talking big changes. Uh, for me, the company, and one of the changes I made was I finally got my best pass. So I haven't seen these new uh, these new units. So the, the old ones were the long skinny uh, rectangle ones, I guess, if you will, that were in that wide or tan obnoxious case thing but let's check out the new unit the best pass pre-pass have to offer oh there we go check that out so comes with the adhesive uh i don't know i guess you don't really call this velcro but something similar it <laughs> just snaps together essentially but so i ordered it Oh, I don't know, week, week and a half ago, but you see there it is as my unit number on it for my truck. But uh, I've been running a year and a half now under my own authority and uh, just barely decided to get this. So so if you want a best pass, pre-pass, um, it's $375 to order it. Um, I don't know if there's any more charges. I assume there's more charges than that, so uh, I'll have to look. But $375 of it goes on to your toll monitor, whichever one's for tolls. I think it's this top one. Might be your tolls. But $375 of it goes on to that. That way your tolls are prepaid, essentially. Um, so now when I go through on a toll road, I'm good. Uh, you do have to set up the best pass, which is the bottom one. You have to set up a separate account for the best pass. Uh, I think it's like $13 a month, $20 a month, somewhere in that range, um, to do your way station bypass and your port of entry bypass. So, anyways, I just figured I just figured I was going to shoot a video today, and I checked my mail, and that was in there, so I figured I'd show it to you. But, anyways, we're talking big changes. Um, the first and foremost one that's happening right now is I am moving. So I am moving, aka the business is moving, whatever. We're both moving, we're both one and the same. You know how that goes. So uh, we're moving out of the townhome up to a piece of property that I bought, which we're taking you up there with us today. We need to go up and move the little camp trailer, uh, the little $800 camp trailer I showed a couple videos ago. Uh, me and Tank are moving into that. It's up on the property, but it needs to be repositioned. So we're heading up there. We also need to get a P.O. box while we're up there because the mail doesn't come to my property. I have an address, but they deliver the town so small they just deliver everybody's mail to the P.O. box or the post office, if you will. And then we also got a storage unit up there uh, that we need to go put our own lock on. Uh, and that's where I'm going to be keeping all of my stuff. I was going to keep it in the shipping container I purchased. But we're going to turn the shipping container into something else. So all of my stuff's going to go into a storage unit until we can start building. So it's going to be a very, very busy year between uh, trucking and property updates or upgrades, uh, if you will. So um, I actually have two pieces of property. That's why we got that little camper is because that will go to the cabin property and then we are going to upgrade in a couple months to something more comfortable. So, But for right now, the little cheap camper is going to be more than suitable. Um, the second thing that's happening this year that's big is... Um, oh, why did I lose my train of thought? Is we're going to be expanding Evans Logistics. So, um, And that was kind of one of the motives behind doing this now. Uh, for one, it makes going through way stations and toll roads a lot easier. But two, um, I'm going to be expanding the company in September. I want to start bringing on owner operators, uh, people that maybe are an owner operator, people that want to be an owner operator, people that want to be an owner operator and eventually have their own authority, uh, things like that. So uh, stay tuned for more information on that. There'll be a lot more information on that coming. So. Uh, September is when we will start 
doing that just for insurance reasons we want to get those insurance premiums as low as we can for you and for me um, and then uh, one of the smaller things that's going to be going on this year is we're going to focus more on YouTube as a, a business or as a whole because I want to start giving back obviously YouTube works through uh, subscribers views uh, ad revenue things like that and so without you guys I can't do any of it but um, I don't make very much from YouTube it's it, I'll show you guys my um, let's say by mid February if I haven't showed you guys my analytics on YouTube remind me and we'll do a video on it and I'll show you guys what I make off of YouTube uh, it's not very much but I figure if we uh, put a little bit more time into it then I can start giving back and I want to do little things like you know give away CBs or uh, maybe a little 19 inch smart TV things like that and work our way up I mean the ultimate goal would be able to give away a truck so like like the Volvo for instance it's a great truck it's paid for but it you know it's not it's not a brand new truck you know I don't think I'll ever be able to give away a brand new truck but something like that you know it'd be a good little truck for somebody to get started with you know and then uh, maybe I could give away a truck and then they could come work under my authority and I could teach them and, and show them how to book loads and negotiate rates and things like that and and then they could either stay as an owner operator or go start their own thing or whatever the case might be but but that would be the the ultimate goal so the the ultimate goal with the company is owner operators because I want to be able to train people and help people out I know you can do that as a company driver but as a company driver, I feel like you have to be kind of more of a boss, more of an asshole, if you will. Because you have to be like, dude, I need you to drive. Dude, I need you to drive. Come on, man. We need this stuff there. Why aren't you there? Why aren't you awake? Why aren't you here? You know what I mean? Especially if you have a driver that doesn't want to do what he needs to do. And so I feel like I can be more of a help to people if we take on owner operators. Because then you're on your own. You know, I'll, I'll teach you how to negotiate rates. I'll teach you how to... Uh, book loads you know I'll teach you paperwork things like that um, make sure you're keeping up on your maintenance you know showing you why all that stuff's important and then uh, you know you're kind of on your own if you fail it's it's on you essentially so I mean it's not that hard to book loads and stay busy I mean to be an owner operator you gotta you gotta want it because it's easy as hell to set home because you can but you'll find out that the money doesn't keep coming in. So, <laughs> but uh, so I feel like I can help people out on their trucking journey a lot more if we do it through the owner operator versus the company driver. So uh, that's just what I want to do. Um, so stay tuned to that for that. I'm really really excited to be able to help people and bring on owner operators and let them start building either their fleet, their crew. Uh, show them if they want to get their own authority. Show them. Uh, that route so I don't expect everybody to stay with me so so uh, you know you're not gonna hurt my feelings if you run with me for six months and you're like hey dude in the next couple of months I want to get my own authority okay what do you need let's get your own authority I want to see you be successful too so um, but uh, anyways so with that being said let's shut the hell up and let's go take a ride go show you guys the property uh, show you guys what me and Tank are going to be living in <laughs> again. So if you haven't watched that last video, go check out my $800 camper. Uh, now this is only temporary, so be nice in the comments. <laughs> uh, so uh, I know it will be cramped quarters and whatnot, but I mean, hell, we're used to living in a semi. So a camper is like a freaking double wide. <laughs> but uh, anyways, uh, let's jump in the truck and let's, uh, let's head up to the property and get some shit done.